What's up, YouTube, man? We back with another one. Today, we got Middle Tennessee versus LSU in the women's um college basketball tournament. Let's get it. Oh, real quick. Hold on. Before we even get into it, somebody got to answer this for me, man. Because, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm just, this is my first year really locking in on women's basketball. You know, usually I just watch the Final Four or some shit like that. But why is it that the, um, in women's, the top seeds for the first two rounds get home games. I don't understand that, bro. Like real talk, I don't understand that. Because what is I know I know the men's tournament is going on right now. They using up arenas, but it's plenty of arenas around America for everybody to still for them to have neutral site games throughout the entire tournament. I don't understand why the first two rounds they get home game. <clears throat> it's already a big enough advantage in women's basketball because. They so it's so top heavy in women's basketball to where you seeing fifty point blowouts. I mean, hell, North Carolina in a one nine matchup just won by like forty or some shit like that. I mean, there's been some blowouts in the men's tournament this year too. With I think Purdue today just beat Utah State by damn near forty. But still, bro, you don't see that as often with the one eight one nine matchups. But it's like, why did they get home? I don't understand that. Somebody, so somebody, if there's actual reason behind it, please explain it to me in the comments or why they get the home games. I th I think they should be neutral site the throughout the entire athletic. tournament. Like it, again, like LSU can still, still play in a. They not even one seed in their region, bro. The, the men's do it. The one seed get be in a region that's close to them. But it's still a neutral site game. They're not at their home gym. <clears throat> now I know upsets still happen here and there in women's too, but I feel like we'll see more in the first two rounds if they was neutral site games. Cause a home crowd plays a huge factor, especially if it's a close game. You got an underdog that got a team on the ropes. If that other team get on a run, the home team, that home crowd gonna play a factor, bro. It ain't gonna be like that in a neutral site game all the time. Morrow from scoring in the half court. She said it really touched her. No foul as she drove the lane. And here comes Wheeler in transition. <laughs> Off to Scott. And she'll knock down the three. LSU thought so Haley Van Lift thought she was going to get to see Louisville the again. Boy, they got their ass bounced. Middle Tennessee, they got 30 wins. Solid mid major. And why? Don't start that lag. Establish the paint points here. And this is Angel Reese jumping into Scott to drop. Rebound comes out high. Flajay Johnson on the spin. The move, Flajay. I like that. Y'all see me looking up, bro. I got my TV on mute right now. Alabama playing Grand Canyon. Two point game, four minutes. She's coming off 14 points. We watching both. Gotta get, gotta get the reaction up and upload it. Gotta get this shit done. Not in a modest outfit today, like yesterday. Flaje, oh my god, that was nice, nice pass. Wheeler taking it out around midcourt with a shot clock to seven. Wheeler on the drive and kick. Gregory got it. Man, that shit gonna kill you every time. It's like I don't understand what players be thinking. Well, I used to do this too until I finally got coached up on it and saw how big of a momentum switch and like how stupid this is. Look how far off the corner you helping. Like, look, bro. If you, if you stick to your man on that corner, there's no option for her because she's gonna run into Reese, and then that means Flajay's guarding the backside. You, she guarding between two. That's a long cross court pass. If she tries to get it to either one of them two, Flajay's gonna be able to get there. Now the defense just rotate, but you helping off this corner gives her an easy out. Three pointer. Bad defense. Hey, look, 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 at Kim Oakley. She got her ass up out of there quick. Look, she go point to somebody on the bench to go get her. So when she hit the three, look. Look up down on your screen. She said number 12 back in the game. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that would have been me, bro. That's my. That's what my coach would have did for sure. I ain't gonna lie. He met me at half court screaming in my face one time because I helped off a corner. Two plays in a row. But this was like early in the year when I was still trying to program not helping off corners. Just trying to keep the ball handlers on one Bro side didn't play about that. That's too much space. That's disrespectful, shorty. Oh, she's getting it going. That's disrespectful. 
Look like this finna be a blowout. 18-10. Ooh, good finish, okay. Great drive going so fast, but she has just such great touch. You win games, you back off that whole idea. It's an addictive feeling. He's been winning a lot. Double down screen here, looking to get Gregory a shot. Oh, hold on. I've been watching these tournament games closely, man. I'm, um, I'm officially, you know, kind of starting my coaching career, man. And, um, not not officially at like a school yet, but I am going, you know, coach this AAU program. I got the, the guy that runs it, you know, pretty much asked me to coach his his high school team. So, you know, I've been looking at a lot of sets. I already put two plays in. I've been looking at a lot of different team sets, just trying to come up with some more plays for them. So we play a little bit on the structure. This one, a nice one right here. You go to high post right here, to the elbow, come across. She gonna come across. You got a down, a screen down here. She coming across. Now she finna get a double. Oh yeah, I like this move, Tennessee. Let's see what you got going on. Boom, you got <coughs> pass to the elbow. While that's going on, on the other side, you got her coming down. She kind of it not really a little bit of rub screen. So the second girl come up, she gets the fake handoff. The point guard's going down to the block. She's setting a cross screen for this girl that was in the corner. She's finna come all the way across. Double down screen here, looking to Double down screen, yep. Long three. Nice. Like that. Haley Van Lith, one of those who really struggled in game one. Well off the mark on that pass, I guess. And it's going to be up and in. Angel Reese right there. They're bidding for a 30th win. Van Lith will be well short. Rebound taken away, though, by Morrow. So tough underneath that will lay it in. Wheeler off to Gregory. Coming up 24 points in round one. Oh, good, good IQ right there. Good tip pass. Great That's IQ right there. It's Scott again, not this time. Kowalski is 6'5", so that's one of the reasons Angel's struggling around the rim right now. Uh-oh, Mel Tissy hanging around, man. Two-point game. On Friday, in transition. <laughs> Kick out over the pass. <coughs> Good pass. <coughs> you see Morrow trying to create off the bounce, realizes she's double teamed, and Angel Reese is running down the floor, feeds her partner. And then draws through the contact the two points. Foul on Jalen Gregory. 520 to go here before the break in Baton Rouge. Bolarevis steps back for a three. Oh, that's too much space, Reese. She can hit that shot. She makes 44. You better get out there. Tomorrow. You got you gotta know to get out there. She's shooting 44. I know that was in the scouting report. She's shooting 44%. It had to be in the scouting report. Gotta get out there, Reese. They got the lead, man. Alona. Alona. Better not be watching no upset alert here. Uh oh. Let me see some Fly J. Let me see some Fly J. Oh, in and out. Oh, Fly J top. In and out, get up out of the. Fly J top, man. And they know they can come back or they can That's great moves, man. Johnson, Little Tennessee leading the number three seed in this region. Not now. Okay. On the drive, but it's a tough angle, and it gets down for Tamia Scott. On the run, and laid off the iron by Reese, who's really had a funky first half. Absolutely. Swing it, swing it. Not down. Not down. Wow. Ooh, six-point game. Oh, we starts again with Savannah Wheeler pushing pace and Scott spots up on the wing. Defense is late to get out. Van Lift with seven seconds before halftime. They doubling Reese. And why? Uh, I told y'all I like 12, bro. Uh, Michaela Williams, bro. She's tough. She's one of them. Hey, this freshman class that women got, I just learned about Madison Booker and UT. She's tough. I just reacted to them. Why nobody told me about her all year? But this freshman class is insane this year, bro. The girl of South Carolina, the girl of Notre Dame, Juju Watkins, Michaela Williams, the girl of Texas. Like, it's some cold-ass freshmen. And the one at LSU really ain't been talked about as much because um, she got all these other players on LSU. But Middle Tennessee just took a nine-point lead, bro. What is going on? What am I watching right now? Ain't no way. And here's Gregory. 
who can't connect. Ain't no way. At least you're not going to lose this. Not in the second round, bro. That would be insane. Eddie Van Lith came to learn under Kim Mulkey. There you go. Turn him over. Turn him over. There you go. Go pull up. I like that. Turn him over. Kayla Williams, a freshman. Claude J. Johnson opening up the second half with a lot of energy. Reese downstairs. Double swing up. it, swing it. Not down. Swing it for Williams. Bow. Got it. Woo. In it now because the offense is being selfless. Extra pass there. Poet Yo. Williams for the Pow. huge three. LSU took the lead. Do y'all hear that crowd, man? This is my whole point. Oh, and one. Tough move, shorty. Tough move. But look, y'all hear that crowd? This is my whole point, bro. Like, why they get a home game, bro? Middle Tennessee in this game. If it was a neutral site game, bro, they probably got a legit shot at winning. I don't think they're going to win. But, they, hey, now, if they do win, all props to them. But still, bro, you see LSU started making that run and how loud that crowd is. That crowd plays a real factor in these games, bro. I don't understand why they got a home game. It's not... If I even if women's wanted to do the top eight teams, that mean the four one seeds and the four two seeds get home games against the sixteen and the fifteen for the first round, cool. But the three seed and the four seed and and lower should not have no home games, bro. It should be all neutral site. Everybody should be neutral site by the second round, for sure. I don't know, man. I I, I gotta find out why they do that. I don't like that. And maybe it's just because I'm used to... I don't know. This is like the NIT, bro. The NIT for men's do this. They do this to where you got... Without the higher seed playing at home until like the, the Elite Eight or the Final Four of the NIT. Kayla Williams. Pull up. Tough. She's tough. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, it was an overload play to get Angel Reese the lot with easy two, but the pass wasn't on the money. Fajay. Bow! Need it. Fajay. Reese got a double double. 14 straight. For Angel Reese. A handoff for Wheeler on the drive. Yes. Here in the third. Morrow to attack. The pass batted around. Johnson got it back. Shot clock's at one. She'll get it up there. Oh, my Flaje ain't playing with him. Oh. Yeah, man, I think Middle Tennessee just ran out of juice, man. Oh, what a LSU got so many options, man. Nice play. For Middle Tennessee. Probably been a little better if it was like an odd play. Reese just tipped it up. Nice seal. That's one thing Angel Reese is great at, bro. They got so many players. When she get that seal down low, it's wraps. And if she don't make the first one, you know she's going to get the offensive rebound. Damn. LSU up 20? Bro. How the hell did this become a blowout, bro? I ain't seen Haley do nothing. First bucket I seen. Jesus Christ. She got. They just said she got four points. I tell y'all what though, Haley ain't had the kind of season I think most people expected her to have. Come when she came there. But if LSU make the final four, it's those games, bro. It all come down. It's gonna be a player that it's gonna be a player outside of the star players, Reese and Reese or you no know, twenty four, Fly J. It's gonna be so. It's gonna be somebody like Fly J or Haley that steps up and have a huge game. They gonna win or Williams. She's nice, bro. I said all year she needed to begin more shot attempts. She got 16 a day. I said all year she was their best offense option. No, no back, bro. No cap. I swear, bro. Really, Fly J, Fly the offense got a Fly J and, and where the hell Fly J running to? She too tired. Fly J and 12, bro. And then your bigs. This is a great ass team, bro. There's no way 
Get South Carolina again. If they see South Carolina for a third time, there's no way they can lose a third time. Just think about the lineup I just said. 24 is really good. Damn, Alabama ain't no winning by 11. 24 is really good. Reese is good. Um, Fly J, the way she hooping. Haley Van Liff, if she get the hooping, how she can hoop. Um, Michaela Williams, like, they got a solid. That's a incredible ass starting lineup, bro. That five is incredible. Hey, man, um, let's check the boss score real quick, see who LSU got up next. So we can get up out of here. We got LSU versus Middle Tennessee. They end up winning by almost 30, bruh. They were literally down nine at one point. Morrow had 19 and 13. Reese had 20 and 11. Fodger had 21. McKay Lewis had 16. Like, look at those stats, man. LSU probably might be deaf. It looked like they only played one, two, three, four, five. Your star lineups. Oh, it looked like they only play seven people. Like, they only play two people off the bench. That might be a problem. They ain't got enough depth to keep up with South Carolina. South Carolina got a five, a starting five, and then a whole nother five of four and five star recruits to put in the game. Like, it's actually insane. <laughs> it's kind of insane. They literally have a super team. Um, LSU. I need to see the women's bracket, bro. Hold on. We got we to gotta see the women's bracket, man. Let's look at the bracket, y'all. Hold on. All right, South Carolina play Oklahoma or Indiana next. I think Indiana win that game. Indiana, I seen them. Re I reacted them a couple times playing Iowa. I mean, they probably not a match for South Carolina, but it could finally be a a, a good game. Maybe not a blowout. You see, South Carolina beating teams about. 50 and 40, bro. Like, goddamn. Uh, Texas, I just reacted to them. They play Utah or Gonzaga next. Um, LSU, 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 LSU. LSU play UCLA or Creighton. So that's probably, unless it's an upset, probably it's going to be UCLA. I'm guessing. I know they've been solid all year. That's going to be a good game. Hey, yeah, hey, we'll be back for that for whatever um next LSU game for you LSU fans, man. Check out any other um women's college basketball reactions I drop if y'all interested. And um we out.